Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. I see we have a few people already in the chat room. Hi, everybody. Hi, Suzanne. Uh, hi, Donna. Kim, hello. Jim, yep, I saw you in there as well. So, hey, yeah, so we have a pretty good crowd going on. Hope everybody's having a great Sunday. Um, just let me know if you can hear me okay before we get too far into the video because that would not be good. Um, everything looks good on my side, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay. No echoing, no uh, craziness going on, hopefully. So if you can just let me know if I'm coming through loud and clear, we can go ahead and get started. So, yeah, life has been so busy recently. I've, uh, I've been so busy at my job. Um, I haven't been able to do a lot of crafting, but I did have my my class yesterday, which was a lot of fun. So um, I think I had shared with you before that I was doing the family portrait uh, accordion um, class, and uh, it was a small class. There was only a couple people that attended, but it was it was a lot of fun. Um, and I want to share with you what we did. Uh, and, and what was really great about this class is it was a kit. So um, I put together these kits, and these kits are hand uh, put together by me. So um, I, I give you lots of stuff because I dig into my personal stash. Um, I want to give you guys an opportunity to try out different products without having to spend an arm and a leg buying, you know, 20 of this or 20 of that. So I try to make the kits very eclectic for you um and uh at a reasonable price right <laughs> so it was a lot of fun it was a three-hour class and we had a good time um i mean truth be told that the smaller classes are are more intimate they're a lot funner because you know you can just kind of feel like you're crafting with a friend so it was a lot of fun uh, so we had we had a great time um and uh, I, I don't have any classes scheduled right now. I'm going to, I'm cleaning my desk off as I talk to you. Um, we, uh, the next class that I probably will be doing is that um, Halloween one that I've been promising you. So I've been gathering all of the items to put together the kits. Um, and uh, as soon as I get everything together, then I'm going to go ahead and make my promo piece. And then I'll get it scheduled in my shop. So that's what we're going to be doing next for my next class. Um, and then I don't know if any of you guys saw uh, th what I've been doing for the next few weeks, actually for the full month of July. So July, I plan on doing Christmas in July. So I'm going to be having uh, my Sunday lives are going to be strictly for Christmas cards. And hopefully everybody's cool with that. So um, ordinarily in the past, what I've done is I've done Christmas in July where I've had videos for you guys. Um, and with work being so busy, I haven't had a chance to tape a lot of videos recently. So I figured I'd use my Sunday afternoon for my Christmas in July series. So so lots of, uh, lots of fun things planned for that. I'm gonna do some giveaways. It'll be a true Christmas in July celebration. So we'll be doing um, card making. I'm gonna do lots of giveaways, hopefully. Um, so, um, I'm going to start advertising for that, but that's going to start the first week in July, which I think is next Sunday, right? I think that's the third. So it should be a lot of fun and hopefully you guys will, uh, enjoy that as well. Um, so don't forget you guys, uh, before we get too far ahead, uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, of course, subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell so that way you are notified when I do go live. So let me go ahead and, hello Miss Cordelia, um, let me go ahead and uh, transition down and I'll share with you a few things before we get started. All right. See my messy desk here. Let me go ahead and pull that down for you. And uh, this is what I was cleaning my desk with. So
So um, whenever I work with mixed media, you know, sometimes it, it uh, sticks to your desk and these razor blades are, are great for cleaning up your mat. So I have this kind of just sitting here at, at the side. All right, so let me share with you what we did yesterday. Um, so this is was the promo and I shared that with you um, for the class. I had sewn it um, and uh, had a lot of fun creating this. And then this is what I did in the class. So in the class, um, since I didn't want to get jump up and down with the sewing machine, we just purely glued it. But it was pretty similar. So let me share with you. I've shared this one with you before. Um, so let me go ahead and share my finished one. So the the journal book, you know, closes with this little class, which is which is always fun, right? Um, and then you have your your three tier. Mine is a family family portraits, um, but you can do it with women, men, kids, whoever you want. You could even probably do it with your own uh, personal photographs. Um, but then I, I decorated it up with some of my um, one of some of my Tim Holtz paper, some of my label tape, um, and then of course this little girl. And then you know I always like to put little metal embellishments as well. And then when you open it up, um, I put this little gear here with a little interactive arrow. Um, again, just more ephemera pieces. As you can see, I distressed it up really nicely um, and then it kind of folds out. So let me see if I can fold this out for you and keep it on camera. All right, so this is the only thing I have not done yet. So I haven't finished decorating this, but this is a pull-out tab um, and it goes in this little pocket right here. Um, and as you can see, when it folds up, that's when you see the family. So the mama's there. And then the little kid is there. So it folds up really cute. Um, but just lots of decorating. So this here um, has a little paper clip and it, ah, it folds down for us. Uh, let's see, there we go. All right. So yeah, so that folds down. So kind of like a family, um, a family portrait. So I thought maybe, you know, in your photo album. You might have, you know, your kids during the holidays. So I did a little Christmas scene here. Um, and then maybe this is Aunt Martha or something. I don't know. <laughs> I always like to tell my stories, right? Um, and then that kind of folds up. And then look how fun this is. So when I was putting some of my remnant rubs, I forgot this was a pullout. And I rubbed this. And then I'm like, uh-oh, it's stuck. So I just kind of shifted it off. But look how fun that is. So when you have the tag out, You've got your little remnant rubs, and then when you put your tag in, it matches up kind of fun. I, I thought that was kind of clever. It's funny how accidents turn into something clever, right? So, uh, yeah. So, and then I used just this little paper clip here to keep it from folding down. Let's see if I can get my big fingers to work here. There we go. So that way, you know, when you lift it up, your, your flap doesn't fold down. Um, so uh, that was the middle piece. And then this here, you know, maybe in your photo album, you have a, a wedding picture, right? So, you know, I just put like a little family here with a wedding photo um, and then like a little piece of correspondence. These are great because you can write little, um, you can write little notes uh, and, you know, whatnot if you're giving it to somebody. And then you flip it over. And then on this side here, I just did another little family portrait. I covered the back up, um, decorated this, and then it has a little pocket. Um, and this is, of course, the mama when it folds up. Um, you can see her. Um, so I put some some uh, little little uh, flashcards with some ephemera pieces and, of course, my remnant rubs. And then this is a little tag that pulls out. Um, and it's nice because it gives the, the backing, um, which is kind of cool. Um, little flashcard that says family here on mine. And what was great is is the people in the class, you know, I kind of showed everybody how to put it together. But then you can decorate it however you want. And I'm anxious to see um, the makes. So um, I'm not going to call anybody out or anything, but um, I'm, I'm anxious to see out how how the class did and to see some of their final results um but it's it's cute it's uh it's my personal design 
Um, I saw something similar on, on uh, maybe YouTube, I don't remember what, but I had these really long sheets and I was just able to kind of, kind of make my own design um, and have it fold up so that way when it's closed, it looks like this. So you got like the family. So that's what we did in the class. Um, it was a lot of fun. I uh, really had a great time. I love making these. Um, and what I plan on do is I'm going to put some more kits in the shop as soon as I can. <laughs> and um, I'm also going to put the class um, in the shop as well. So if you want to buy the recorded class, you can um, to help you put it together. Otherwise, you can just get the kit if you want to. So that's my plan. Um, so it was a, a three hour class and it was a lot of, a lot of fun. Um, but I just wanted to share with you the end result because I think it came out marvelous. All right, so let's get to today. So um, originally I was thinking I was going to play with my new stamp and I might still do that. Um, this one here my my bubble stamp um and i might still do that but i have to get my um craft roulette card done and for those of you that watch the show i wasn't able to watch the full show i watched some of it uh, but the prompts were an a2 card pink plus three colors bugs and insects and metallic foil so i thought maybe we could do that um, and see if we can get some little, a little bit of play time in here. So does that sound good? Um, we can uh, see what we can get going. Um, so I have this pink here. I don't play with these oxide sprays very much, but when I was shopping for my stamps, I got them over at, uh, uh, where did I get them at? Um, I can't remember, but anyway, they have like a, uh, a discount bin and uh, it's for inks or whatnot that kind of come kind of messed up so when I got it in the pack package it had ink all over it and I cleaned it up and I'm thinking you know what I I'm not against getting discounts and just having to clean it up myself I mean I throw away the packaging anyway right so hopefully it'll work we're gonna try it out I haven't tried it yet um, but yeah this was in the discount bin because um, it was all runny and, and messed up, but I just pulled it out of the packaging, cleaned it up, and, and I think I'm good to go. So maybe this will be my pink today. We'll see. Um, and then, um, so thinking about bugs and insects, I have this tissue tape um, that has bugs and insects. <laughs> it is from the uh, Field Notes kit, which came out a couple, couple years ago, I guess. Um, so I thought maybe we can play with this. I thought that might be kind of fun. Um, we haven't played with tissue paper in a while, right? So we'll see what maybe we can do with that. And uh, let's see, what else do I have here? So I have some little ephemera pieces that I cut out. It says entomology. Um, entomology is the study of bugs, of course. So maybe we can do something with that. Um, and what else do I have here? So I have some bugs. I've got the, the wings. This is the, uh, what is this? This is the, uh, the wings from Tim Holtz, um, that are so, so pretty. So I thought maybe we can do something with that. Uh, what else do I have here? I got this little field notes for inspiration. <laughs> I was just digging through my stuff and I found that. Um, I got... Field notes ephemera. I got lots of stuff on my desk. I got some butterflies and green edge going on here. So I pulled out my rub ons. And then, of course, we can't forget the entomology set by Tim Holtz. So I pulled that as well. So I think I have enough to get going here. Um, so that's what I thought we would do. So maybe we can make a few cards. Um, we'll see what we can get going. All right, so first thing I want to do is I want to try out this oxide spray. And I don't want to make a mess. So this is an old Kleenex box. 
I probably should cut it down a little bit more, but I thought, you know what? I'm going to just spray it in here so I don't make too big of a mess. Let's see. Ah, a little bit of a mess. All right. So I'm just going to kind of keep that there a minute to dry. And then I think, eh, let's make a mess. Why not? Let me just spray that down there. And then I have some watercolor paper um, that I wanted to kind of do this. Let me let me see what I can let me see what I can get going. So let's first let's just kind of I don't know maybe add some pink. Yeah, Elizabeth, this is. Uh, Tissue paper. I don't know if you're asking me about my tissue paper or my tissue box. <laughs> so maybe the theme is tissue today. All right. So I'm just grabbing some of this color. So with the uh, distress, distress sprays, you can, you know, of course, spray on it. You can just kind of drag your paper through it. I'm sure there's lots of ways you can use it, right? But let's get that pink color going on. And then I wanted to also see if I can stamp with this. So let's see here. Let's get paper. So maybe add again, shaking it up. Maybe add a, a little bit of spray. I don't want to get too messy here. Uh oh, I hope this is water reactive because I just got pink on my glasses. <sighs> All right. I'll be walking around with uh, speckles in my glasses. All right, so let's see if maybe we can stamp with this. I don't know. I'm just kind of playing with it. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you can, right? All right. So that's kind of cool looking. Uh, and let's kind of... This is why I don't typically play with sprays too much because they're a little messy. But you know what? We're making an exception today. All right. So that's kind of neat. Pretty subtle, right? And then I have one more piece here. Let's see what else we can do. Um, I kind of like, I kind of like the spray. I think maybe I'll spray another one with the pink. It's uh, kind of cool. So let's see if we can uh, do this without making too big of a mess. So I'll put that one. Those are my splatters, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in here. And then I'm going to just kind of place this down. I guess I should show you, right? Like that. It's kind of cool. Let's see. Maybe add a little bit more there. My fingers are getting all dirty. A little bit there. It's kind of interesting, right? There. All right. So yeah, I mean, I guess you can spray this. So we will just put these aside here. So kind of, kind of fun. Um, oh, I do have another one. So let me just. See if I can get some of this. So this is the first time I'm playing with the stamp, so I'm just kind of messing with it a little bit here. Let's see if I can grab any more of this color. Yeah, the stamp is pretty cool. Like when I saw it, I thought it would be great texture. Um, so 
and it is it does not disappoint and it's big enough too so if you want to just randomly get some background like I'm doing here you can do that cool. all right so yeah so not too bad this one doesn't really look like circles too much right because I was just kind of picking up the excess but I, I still like it nice all right so I'm gonna put this aside right here clean it up afterwards so now we have some backgrounds at least um, to fit our pink we just got to get a few more colors in all right so which one should we play with so I thought also so I could use this for pink as well and then I've got green for my second color so let me go ahead and just see if maybe I can get some of these remnant rubs going on use these up all right so this I shared with you before these were from 49 and market um, and um, they are remnant rubs so I'm just going to add some interest to this so let me see if I can just I don't I don't like to waste any parts of my remnant rubs so we're gonna we're going to use it all here Let's see. and of course I got to find my little remnant rub tool which after our class up oh, there it is I was afraid I wasn't going to find it. All right, so let's just go ahead and see if we can get some of this interest on our background. So I thought that the craft roulette wheel was, was pretty kind. I don't know how I got such tough, uh, <laughs> tough categories. Um, but shoot, A2 card, pink plus three bugs, metallic and foil. I don't play with foil too much, but I have metallic crayons, distress crayons, so I figured I'd pull those out. But yeah, I mean, when I saw the prompts, I thought, oh, easy peasy, no problem at all. Go and then let's see if we can do something with with this here. Let's see, maybe I don't know. I'm just creating backgrounds, so nothing in particular. Just using up some of these remnant rubs for interest. And I don't necessarily like to waste anything, so I'm just, if I see something here, I'm rubbing it down. All right, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, let me see if there's anything else. That's, that's something right there. So let's see if we can get that off the paper. It's pretty good, I think. All right, I might save that. I don't know why I would use this, but I might use it. I don't know. We'll think about that. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and just continue with this one here since it's already got some of the background going on okay so it needs to be an a2 card so let's first trim it down so um, it's a little bit bigger than my a2 but I knew I was going to be adding uh, paint and whatnot and I like for my backgrounds to look um, organic and what I mean by that I don't like it to look staged so whenever I'm doing a background like this I like to uh, make it a little bit bigger so that way we can trim it down and have it look a little bit more organic so let's let's figure this out here all right so a2 so four and a quarter by five and a half so i like to mat my cards so usually i go down so my mat will be at four 
and so this needs to go in a little bit more so cut it here and then five and a half sorry ladies I'm just talking to myself here so five and a half so five all right all right so I think and I'm gonna save these I don't like to throw away anything we might be able to use that so I think I think we're in good shape right so I've got my pink of course plus three and I've got my green um, I've got some brown here I wonder if that would count that probably would count right I would think so um, and then I want to get my metallic so what I thought what I thought I would do for my metallic is to get out my metallic crayons so I don't know if you guys have ever used these so tarnished brass is a metallic um, let's see. what else do I have in here uh, I think that's metallic antique bronze is metallic and then I have a silver one that's metallic there it is so those are my metallics so let's see which one should we use um maybe the bronze maybe the bronze so I can count them as one of my colors okay that's good to know so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get my colors here. So I want to distress this a little bit. And this distressor works great on heavy cardstock. I love the results that I get. It's very sturdy cardstock, and it will hold it will hold <laughs> my roughness here. And I love this little tool because I can just put it between my fingers and. Okay, go to town. All right. A little crunch in here. Okay, so let's see what we got. Okay, so this is my metallic, and I'm just going to grunge it up a little bit here. So let's let's just add some of that metallic. So there's my metallic prompt. Clean as we go, right? All right. I got my uh, walnut stain sitting here saying, hey, why aren't you using me? <laughs> Usually that is what I use for my edges. But uh, we went with the crayons today. All right, so A2 card pink. I got my metallic going on. I've got green. I think I've got three colors. Green. Um, this is like a brown. Pink. Maybe I need one more color. So we'll figure that out. All right, so here was my idea. Uh, I thought maybe... I don't think I'll do it on this one, but I thought maybe I could put this little naturalist. Maybe we'll put it on a different one because I love this background. But I thought maybe we can do a paper doll with wings. That would count, right? I mean, I don't know if it needs to be a true bug or insect. Maybe maybe the paper doll is an insect. Am I pushing it, you guys? I mean, does, does that... I guess I could put a bug on there, right? But that was my thought is to maybe use... Oh, maybe I'll just add a butterfly just to be safe. Um, but that was my idea was to use these metallic wings. Or not the metallic. These, uh, what are these called? Transparent wings as wings on a paper doll. So that was my idea for my make. Look at her. <laughs> she would be great, right? Um, so let me see if I can pull that down a little bit more for you. 
so yeah so that that was where my brain was going with this prompt so I'll choose bigger wings than that right so maybe we can do something like this so I don't know that's kind of where I was going with it what do you guys think and then maybe we'll uh, color her dress pink some of our pink going on here right and I need to get my paintbrush let's see So I keep my paint brushes in this old Yahtzee <laughs> die. So die thrower or whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, so let's let's see if we can maybe give her a little bit of color on her dress. Alright, so a lot of ways to color these paper dolls, of course. I'm using it as paint um, but there's a couple ways you could add the crayon to the paper doll directly and then just add water if you wanted to sometimes you, when you add the water and do it this way it's a little bit too watery um, but you can just you know kind of kind of play with it a little bit and I'm just looking for some subtle color So maybe she's the queen of the butterflies and she'll have all her little butterfly friends around her. I don't know. See, I always have to tell a story, you guys. I have to kind of imagine it in my head. It's pretty good, I think. Uh, we'll leave her socks white. I'm blowing my... <laughs> I'm blowing my ink to dry it. All right, so I think that's pretty good. Let me, uh, all right, walnut stain, don't cry. All right, so let's just add a little bit of brown grunge. See, some people would cringe when they see me do this because it's like, well, you're adding brown to the pink. I'm like, I know, that's what I want to do. Right, brown is underrated. Brown is wonderful. All right, so here is our little paper doll. Let's see. I want to pop her up, so let's, uh, let's get those wings added. Let's see. So we're going to just kind of play here a minute figure out where would wings go all right hey Mary I'm using your prompts I've got my a2 card going got pink plus three I have to add one more I've got my bugs I was advised I probably sh probably should add a real bug um, but yeah, she's going to be the uh, queen of the butterflies, right? Or the princess of the butterflies. <laughs> I like it. All right, so where are her little friends? So these are her little friends. So I think, I think we need to... Uh, it is going good. I see everybody sees... Mary joined in um, from Crafty Roulette, right? <laughs> That's between Mary and I, our little joke. Uh, but uh, 
Yeah, if you guys aren't familiar with craft roulettes, you need to get real familiar with it because it is an addicting show. It's a lot of fun. I, uh, I'm so glad that my crafty friends introduced me to it. <laughs> Cause I, it's a fun Friday night. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this little princess up while her wings dry. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Um. And we might make a few of these cards, you guys. In fact, I know we will. So we'll, we'll get to choose which one I should submit for last week's show. Because I am going to do my darndest to try to get a card in every, every week. And now that I'm a patron, I have extra time. So if you guys need extra time to get your cards in it's as low as five dollars a month i think it's a deal and it helps her show you know i mean i'm sure she uh does the show because she loves it but our endeavors can get a little pricey at times so that'll help her out all right so I'll make sure you guys that I link uh, Craft Roulette in my description box below. So if you guys are not familiar with the show, um, you can check it out. looking for my my poker so I couldn't find my poker I hope I don't uh this probably isn't a wise idea all right so let's see if we can get these little things off so did everybody have a good weekend did anybody do anything exciting we went to our i think i shared with you before that we uh go to the there's a local team in town here in prescott and it's indoor football um and they are called the wranglers excellent game it was so fun we like won in the last couple of minutes and they're going to the playoffs we have season tickets kind of like our saturday night date when the team is in town and we have a lot of fun you know when the weather's good we tailgate always a reason to hang out and drink wine coolers are better right <laughs> um but yeah so we did that saturday night it was a lot of fun um and then this morning we went to breakfast. We went to the Waffle House. Um, and I had a waffle. It's the first time I've had a waffle at the Waffle House. And of course, they did not disappoint. Um, so Cordelia did housework. Boo on housework, Cordelia. And did some crafting. <laughs> it's about as exciting as it gets. All right, boo on the housework, yay on the crafting. Um, boy, this is taking me longer than I wanted it to. I can't find my pokey, my little pokey. Um, There it is. 
my dental pick, right? All right, so let me see if I can get these pop-ups off. And so, yeah, so we went to uh, breakfast today. Oh, and then after breakfast, we went to, um, to the nursery and got some pansies and some flowers. I have, a, I have two big barrels in the backyard that are my herbs, um, and I wanted to get some color in them, so I added some flowers to uh, the herb barrel. And then I added some flowers in front too, but we have, I always wanna say hedgehogs. We have, um, what are those wild pigs called? You guys gotta help me out with that. But anyway, we have those, I live in the country, so we have deer and we have wild pigs and we have all sorts of little critters. And sometimes they eat my flowers, so I try to buy flowers that they won't eat. Yeah, I need to clean my desk off. I still haven't cleaned it after my class yesterday, um, so I need to clean it off. All right, so there's my little girl. I'm calling her the butterfly, butterfly princess because I can. And now we're going to put her little butterfly friends all around her, fluttering. Shoot, I wish I had gotten these prompts when I was on the show. I would have been all over it. All right, and I think I want to, oh, should I put some brown ones? I got two pink ones here. Let's see, maybe we'll just do something like this. Yeah. Decisions, decisions, maybe up here. I don't know. She, that's cute, huh? So I got my metallic. I got my bugs. Got my pink. A2 card. I think I need another color. Well, I got my brown. So green. <laughs> black. I got some black going on it. I know it's a neutral. Let's just throw in another color just in case because I think I need another one. I'll just put that one. That's the oddball. Right here, maybe? Yeah, Mary. I, th I don't think the will likes me. Um, all right. So I think I got it. Let me count my colors. Okay, so pink is one of them plus three. So I've got green. I've got some brown, black, brown, black. And... My metallic is a color. Okay, you guys. Do I have all three of my colors? I think I do, but I don't I don't want to get disqualified. <laughs> I don't think I would, but you never know. Mary's a tough one. So I think I think I got it, right? Alright, so let me know if I need to add one more color and I'll find another color if I have to. Uh, but I think I think I got it. I think I got it. All right, so let's uh, let's do card number two here. So card number two, I wanted to use my little naturalist here. So let's uh, so cute. I like it. What do you guys think? I like it. I like it. Very fun. Oh, you know what? I have metallic, uh, I have metallic stickers. I have metallic stickers. That, that could be my metallic and it could be a color, right? Um, there we go. Okay, so let's see here. Um, so gold could be my other color. Uh, just one life. Never give up. Let's do something like use your wings or something. Make a wish. Own your dreams. Own your dreams. Uh, let's see. Fly away. Ooh, that would work, right? Fly away. Let's 
Oh no, I like this one better. That's the one I was actually looking for. Don't forget to fly. Don't forget to fly. And we're gonna snip it. to fly a little wonky all right I think I got my colors now all right I think I got it all right don't forget to fly the black is my other color so green black and brown and then pink of course or in the, and the butterfly has some purple in there. So I think I'm safe. I think I won't get disqualified. I'm messing with my butterfly. All right. Move on, Monica. Sometimes i got to take my own advice, and it doesn't have to be perfect. But let me just add a little something-something to the wing here. Is my little butterfly's wings is flopping. My three colors are one second here. One second, Don. Don's calling me out. All right, I got my colors though. I'm confident. You guys are a tough crowd. All right, so come on. So we need to do something about these little pop-ups. Oh boy. There it is. Okay. Just want to pop up my little butterfly here. Because her wings kind of flap a little bit. I know it doesn't have to be perfect, but. Want it the way I want it. All right, so let's put that little thing there to help it pop up a little bit. Hmm. Where'd my other one go? There it is. All right, now I'm happy. Okay, Don. So my colors are green, black, I've got some blue here, so I can use blue, and I got brown. So I've got some neutrals in here, so I think I'm safe. I think I got it. All right, so I'm going to put that aside for a second. Now for this one, I wanted to use this fun stuff, right? So let's... Uh, Let's trim this down first. Let's trim this down first. So again, an A2 card. Uh, maybe I will do a border on this one. So we'll do... Oh, I already cut it for a border. Okay. And then five. So four. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, so all right, we might have to do some maneuvering, but I'm not. I'm not scared. All right. So I want to do. I want to play with tissue paper. So let's uh, let's figure this out. So this is this is my bugs. This is my second card now. All right, so I got my pink. I'm going to get my bug going on here, All right? Let's see. How am 
like that bug though. All right, so let's uh, try to get my paintbrush. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen this trick. So I want to, I want to tear my paper, but I want to keep my bug. So I'm gonna just add some water to this tissue so it will tear easily. So now that I got water, it should tear where my water is, right? That's that's the idea. Let's see if let's see if that works. Oh. Yeah. And then I got the jiggity edge, which is what I like too. Alright, so I am upside down, so let's try to get it right side up. What do you guys think? I like it. I like it. I like it. Alright, and then I need to get my collage medium. So, this is brown collage medium. Um, there is different types. There's the... Uh, the matte collage medium. Um, there is the clear collage medium. But this is on my desk, so this is what I'm going to use. So let's just go ahead and... Uh, get this to stick down right Bethany we missed you girl glad you could join I'm honored to have Elizabeth here as well those two ladies are on my design team so I always love it when they're able to join in the fun So, see, I should have brought some water, uh, but we're going to do a little trick here. So I'm going to wet this down and wrap this in wet tissue. So if you guys are playing mixed media and you don't have your water bucket, shame on you because you should have been prepared <laughs> but if you don't like me then that will save your brush as well just keep it moist all right so i'm gonna go ahead that brush sometimes gives me brush strokes oops oopsie uh, and let's just make sure this is down we're going to help it along a little bit here. And that's my second color, too. Look at that. I've got my brown tone in here. I know brown is a freebie, but I'm going to count it. Pink and brown are great combinations, too. I love it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, life does happen, doesn't it? I was saying earlier, I've been so busy with my job. I've been so busy with my job, I haven't had a lot of time to play. Uh, but we're finding time today. Ooh, I'm gonna need to mat this. This is very flimsy. Not 
not bad, not bad. All right, I think I need to trim this a bit though, because I'm going to mat it in black. Um, let's see. So let's just let's just trim a little bit more. All right. I think that's pretty good. So let me get some black cardstock. So this was our first card you guys making the prompts and this is going to be the second one so we're going to have to at the end of the day at the end of the day let's see just give me a second here we're going to have to decide which one to submit to craft roulette aka crafty roulette Uh, so, all right, so I think that's good. We're going to have some choices here, guys. I think I'm going to make four cards, so maybe I'll give away a couple, too. What do you guys think? I haven't given away any cards recently, have I? We'll see. We'll see if I'm in a giving mood. All right. So I was sharing with you guys earlier, starting in July, every Sunday will be Christmas in July. So we're going to be making, we're going to be making Christmas cards um, all month in July. Uh, so hopefully you guys are up for that. Um, and I don't know. I'll see if I can maybe get some giveaways going on. Um, it'll be fun. Get us in the Christmas mood, right? I know a lot of people start their Christmas crafting uh -huh, in July. So uh, that's, that's the plan. Hopefully you guys are up for it. <laughs> Kim, yeah, give away a card. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see if you guys are worthy. AKA chit chatting with me, right? <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll figure something out here at the end. All right, so I got... <laughs> Yeah, for sure, Kim. Um, we'll be doing some fun techniques, so absolutely. All right, so I got my pink. I got my bug. I need my metallic. Hmm. Metallic. What am I going to do for metallic? Oh, boy. Metallic or foil? I don't foil. I don't have anything foily. Um... Of course you're worthy, of course. <laughs> Absolutely, Kim. Um, you know what? Let's see. Let's make up let's make up a metallic. Um let's see. Ooh, look at what I found. So this says metallic luster. That counts as metallic, right? I think this will count as my metallic. I don't know what I'm doing with it, though. Let's uh, see if maybe we can add it to something rather than just cheat and put it on. Oh, maybe the edge. Let's see. Maybe. I don't know. I might be pushing it here. Gold splatter. Yeah, that's a good idea, too. Um, you know what? Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. Because I'm not loving that. Uh, can I maybe do something with this? Let's see if we can maybe 
turn that into splatters. I might be pushing it here. All right, so let's see what we can do with this. Can I get it watery enough to splatter? I'm not sure. Let's see. It's getting puddly. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Okay. Who said splatters? That was a great suggestion. Thank you. You know, I do have Tim's bugs, I think. Um, so that's a, an idea, right? So I don't want to cover them. Okay, we're going to hold that because I don't want to cover my bug. I'm liking the way that looks. Uh, I think I want to pull out another paper doll. Is that okay? Oh, man. I just, I just like these little guys. Um, I wonder how fun that would be. But we won't cover, we won't cover that bug. Uh, maybe we'll do the wings again. See, she was the queen of butter, princes of butterflies. He'll be the prince of moths. I don't know. <laughs> Am I? I, oh my goodness. All right. I kind of like those. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to do another one. Uh, and then, so I don't want to put splatters on him. So let's get some of these splatters on here first. So these are my metallic splatters. I know, I love my paper dolls, don't I? I just bought another set too. I, I swear, I was cleaning out my drawers and I have like five packages of paper dolls. I seriously have a problem, you guys. Whenever they're on sale, I buy them. I just love them. I just love these little characters. They're part of my family. Alright, so these are my metallic splatters. I know it's not... I know it's not real bright. Hopefully, if we choose this card to submit, I won't get kicked out. All right, so you guys are my witnesses. It was metallic. All right, so maybe color his shirt metallic. I don't know. Oh, he's got a little splatter on his head. All right, that's okay. All right, you guys. Oh, just a little splatters here, too. Why not? I know. I Well, I have a whole a whole uh, plastic bucket full already. It's just I've got five new packets that I haven't opened yet. So, yeah, I have a problem. But I like them. I like them. All right, so... That has metallic splatters, so I'm going to call that a check. So let me get this cleaned up here. I got splatters all over my desk now. All right. I think that works. I know that's what I'm afraid of so metallic splatters and you guys you guys saw it it says metallic luster so I think I'm safe I think I am safe see this is how I use my little uh razor blade to get all this gunk off all right, and it cleans right up, cleans right up. All right, so that's number two. 
trying to figure out my little, where'd my little guy go? I lost him. Oh, here he is. All right. He's even got a little metallic on his shirt too. So, um, of course he has to have wings. And he's just going to have subtle ones. She, not the real big ones like she did. All right, so let's get his wings on. Oh, you know what, Jim? I think I do have metallic washi tape, but I don't know if it matches. Um, I'm going to look for it in just a second because that might be something we dig into, right? All right, so there's my little wing boy. I like it. So, okay, so I got to check my colors here. So I got my... A2 card, I got my pink, black, oh, I need some more colors, and I got my bugs and my metallics, so I just need to add some more colors. All right, so, um, I can get some, I can get some more colors in here, let's see, what does this say? Yeah, that's not going to work. Um, I can get a little bit more green in there. I can put some green splatters, right? Maybe just put like some green splatters in here. Where's my little tool? So there's some green. Maybe we'll add a little bit more up here. It's getting kind of grungy, you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pop him up. I'm just trying to get my color quota in here. So I've got pink, I've got black, I've got green, black and green. I need one more. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll just put, oh, but that's black and green. Yellow, maybe yellow. Uh, it's green again. I need another color. Black, browns, and whites? Does, is that a, uh, is that okay? I don't want to, I don't want Deputy Heidi to call me out. That would be embarrassing. Hmm. You know what, just, Monica, just grab a piece of ephemera. Uh, I think I have a red label in here. That I saw. Bam, red. Okay, there's my red. All right, problem solved. All right, so I'm going to try different pop ups because those other ones were making me nuts. Orange butterfly. Yeah, I, I thought about that, but oh, there's a little one. Okay. And that kind of matches anyway. Thanks, Jim. I think that's what I'll do instead. We'll put that little orange butterfly. Uh, so, yeah, let's see if we can do this. Okay, so there's the head. I think I need to buy more pop-ups. This is what I do when I run out. I'm sure this is not a new trick, right? And then we'll just pull this off. All right, 
that'll pop it up. <laughs> All right, so get these little pop-ups off. All right. I don't want to cover my 1929. And you know what? He can be floating because maybe he's flying. So get a little metallic on his hair. All right. And then let's pop up the butterfly too, you guys. Although, 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 if I pop it up, you're going to see the pop-ups. Maybe I'll just glue it down. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I have some clear pop-ups. I wonder if these clear pop-ups would work. Let me see. If not, we'll pull them off. I just really need one, I think, right in the middle. Oh, sticky. See if we can hide that. Push it down. It's like a glue dot. That's all right, I think. I think I pushed it down too far. All right, there. Stop it. Stop it. All right. Uh, I need something here, though, I think. All right. Uh, let's do another metallic. Um, show the world your magic. I don't know. Maybe. Cut. Oh, for my pen. Let's see. I just well, I want to do something here. Uh, today is full of possibilities. I wanted a long one though. Show the world your magic. Here we go. The ordinary is often the extraordinary. Thanks, Mary. Thanks for popping in. All right, there we go. So let's check our colors. Okay, so I've got my pink at the background, right? I've got my metallic with my splatters, you guys saw. You're my witness. I got my bug. I got orange. I got green. And black. I'm calling it. All right, so here's the two cards. So which one do we like better so far, you guys? I'm doing a time check here. So we're at... Where are we at here? Oh gosh, we've already been going an hour. We'll go. We'll make uh, one more because I want to give away a card. Um, so which one do we think? Do we like this one better or this one for the submission? I'll let you guys think about it, and then we're gonna start working on my third card because I want to use, and maybe I'll make two of them with this. So we'll come up with one design, and then I'll just make a couple. So I'll call this the girl card and the boy card. <laughs> let me know which one you guys like better. Uh, so let's. Uh, I'll just put them right here so you can see them. All right, so Lord of the Flies, yes, very good. All right, so four. Five. I know, right, Cordelia? I can't believe it's already been an hour. I couldn't believe it either when I looked at the time check. Okay, so, boy for the submission, yeah, I like them both, I really do, but I'm, I'm feeling you there. All right, so, I got my pink, I want to get some of this background colors coming in, so I think, I think I'm going to use this here, so I'll use like some leaves and the butterfly really like this 
so let's see what we can get going on uh yeah okay so let's see let's see what we can get going on here so i'm going to use well, maybe i should just use the corner hmm. thinking out loud here so let's do this for the background. Get my green in, right? All right. All right. So, boy card. So you guys are liking the boy card? All right. So let's. Uh, See if I'm gonna mat this in green. One second. So this is gonna go like that. So let's get that boy card. Everybody's liking the boy card. All right, maybe I'm just warming up. I don't know, you guys might like this green one better. We'll see. All right, and then we'll put this here. Yeah? Okay, so there's my green. I love these remnant rubs. I think they're awesome. Okay. Let's see if we can get these down. So this will be the last card, you guys. Um, and then I'll make the fourth one off camera. But we got to figure out how I'm going to do the giveaway. So I'll give away one of the cards. Um, So well, I haven't given away a card in a while, so we'll have to figure out how to how to do that. Let's see, everybody likes that boy card. Poor little girl, Princess Butterfly, <laughs> is feeling left out. Princess of the Butterflies. So yeah, with these remnant rubs, I just kind of pull my back up as I as I rub them down, <laughs> just to make sure they're sticking. Uh, yeah, my little bubbles here. Get those sticking down too. All right. <clears throat> oh, these last few don't want to stick down. Let's see. There they go. Oh, one more. All right. Where is it? But the person who deserves it the most. How am I going to figure that out, Cordelia? How, how am I possibly going to figure that out? If you can come up with a solution on how to, how to determine that, we'll go that way. But I don't, I don't know how to figure that out. All right, so my card kind of shifted a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay, my card shifted, so we're going to do that again. And I don't think I like the green. I think I'm going to go black. Because that will be my color. See, 
changing my mind, changing my mind. <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> Cordelia. <laughs> well, if everybody agrees with that, I don't. I'll let you guys decide if Cordelia is the most worthy of the card. Um, who hasn't won a card? Yeah, I don't know. You guys, if you haven't gotten a card from me yet, let me know, and we can we can try to rectify that. For sure. All right. So, yeah, I like the black better, and then that's one of my colors too. All right. So there's that one, and I liked Jim's idea on the butterfly. Maybe we'll do a big butterfly on this one. So pretty, right? Maybe we'll just do the butterfly as a focal, no paper doll. Um, and it's got a color in it too. It's got red. So there's my red, green, and black. We just got to figure out the metallic. Ooh, I have an idea for the metallic. So I think I shared these with you the last time we were playing. These are my vintage nibs. I can do something like that. And I'll color it my metallic. What do you guys think? Kind of cool, huh? All right, so let's... Uh, Let's ponder that a minute. All right. Carol is saying she hasn't gotten a card. All right, so what, uh, what color should we use? I think I'm gonna use this one because it'll go with the wings. I'm just trying to figure out if there's something else I can I can use. I'm digging through my my metals here. So let's see. Ooh, there's a little butterfly. Maybe I can add on a little charm. Let's see. Mm. Maybe I could do like a little charm or something. I don't know. Let's see what we can do here. I think I'm gonna do that in a different, a different color. So let me just uh, 
Let me just get this here. All right, so did we figure out who hasn't gotten a card yet, perhaps? <clears throat> All right, so let me hold this down. I'm not going to touch that because it's going to burn me. But let's let that dry a minute or cool off, I should say, a minute. That's metallic, right? I think that looks metallic. And then let's see what we can do here. Cordelia, yep. I think I've sent you a card. Suzanne, Carol, say they haven't. So Suzanne and Carol have not. Boundary waxes, can they splatter? Let's see. Sure, why not, right? It's wet. Let's see if we can maybe get some splatters here. I'm just making it up as I go along. Is it? You're probably right, Pam. I think that I think that'll do so let's push that aside so I can do a little bit of cleanup here I guess it's getting a little messy a little messy I think we're ready to put it together. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry a minute. I don't want to burn my fingers. Um, I figured that out in a minute. Okay, so you know what? I didn't even use my little ephemera piece, but I don't want it. It's so pretty. I don't want to cover it up. So we won't. Let's keep those for another day. All right. So let's uh, let's get our butterfly. Um. Let's see if maybe I can pop it up without. These are see throughs, so I'm not sure. See, if I put the little dot, it's going to show through. So I'm. Uh, let me see if maybe I can just put it in the middle like I did before. And it's going to go, I guess, something like that, I guess. My little, my little metallic is going to hide it, so I think I'll be okay. And then we'll put that there. So there's my metal element. And then we'll do like a little charm or something, right? Just, just because. I mean, we don't have to. I don't even know if I'll do the charm, to be honest with you. I don't think I need it. Um, but let me, let me glue that down. So do we have another contender for the submission? Let's see if 
we can uh, add some glue. It's hollow, so I've got to make sure I can get it stuck down. Made a little bit of a mess. Just doing a little cleanup here, guys. All right, so we'll let that dry. And then I want to put like a little, uh, well, let me check my colors. So I've got black, green, and red. So I think I'm good with my colors. I've got my metallic. I've got my pink. I think I'm good. I think I'm, uh, I think I'm there. Um, I want to do a little sentiment though. So I think, friends, yeah, I like it. Uh, choose happy. I don't think that'll fit. So yeah, let's do, um, friends. Experience. Remember. Let's see. You, you like this one, Cordelia? So are we still leaning towards the boy for my submission or do we like this one better? This one's a little bit more simple, right? Um, but but it's certainly a contender. All right. Dream. Yeah, I didn't have. Ah. Dream instead of friends. I can still do that. Should we do that one instead? I aim to please. I aim to please. All right. We can certainly put dream instead. Glorious, so another butterfly one. All right, dream. Okay, Miss Pam. Who said dream instead? I don't remember. Let's see. Yep, Pam. All right, I aim to please dream. It is. All right. So use your stash. This is all from my stash. And I think we did a pretty good job of using our stash. Uh, I'm going to, I don't want to overdo it. So let's, uh, let's, that's pretty good, right? I think sometimes less is more. All right. So let's look at what we've done here. So we've got so I'm going to call these so these are the three cards we made today I've got boy, girl and butterfly so which one should be the submission for craft roulette you guys so go ahead and put your votes in there um, and we'll see where we're at so go ahead and put your votes as far as which one should go into craft roulette and then we got to figure out who's getting one of the cards. Um, so remind me again, if you would. I know that um, there were a couple people that have not gotten cards from me. Um, and if you could remind me again, if you haven't gotten a card from me. Okay, so we've got a vote for the butterfly. We've got a vote for the boy. We've got two for the butterflies, three for the butterfly. Uh, go ahead and just put your vote in there, guys, as far as which one. Two for the boy, three for the butterfly, two for the boy, two and three. Two for the boy, 
three for the butterfly, three for the boy, uh, four for the butterfly. <laughs> so, okay, love your Carla. So, five for the butterfly. Uh, so, six for the butterfly. So, six, six and three. Butterflies pulling ahead. Six and three. Six and three. Six and three. So. I think the butterfly is winning. Seven and three. Okay. So I think the butterfly wins. Seven to three. So this will be my submission. I'll put it on an A2 card. Let's make sure I got my... So, so pink, A2, metallic, and then I've got green, black, and red. So I'm covered. Okay, so this will be my uh, submission for Craft Roulette. And um, who? so who's going to get a card? Uh, so Julie said she's never gotten a card from me. Um, hopefully you guys are in the United States because I can't mail to out of, out of the country. It's a little too expensive. So Julie hasn't gotten a card. Was there anybody else that hasn't gotten a card from me? Um, and I'll send out a couple. I'll send out a couple cards. So Julie, uh, send me your address via my email. Um, let me put my email up there. For you. Let me Uh, Julie, you're in Canada. I'll just I'll make sure your card is flat. How's that? If it's flat, I can do that because um, that won't be expensive. Um, so yeah, Julie, I can still get your card, um, but it's going to be a flat one. It's not going to have any pop-ups or anything. Um, so I'm going to make your card special here. Um, it's when you have to send a parcel that it gets really expensive. But if I can just send it as a regular envelope, I can do that. So. Uh, Suzanne, you haven't gotten a card from me? Uh, okay, so yeah, Julie, just send me your address. I will get you out a card. Um, and Suzanne, Carol, and Julie, um, go ahead and we got to save something, somebody for next time. So, um, I don't know. Uh, Carol and Suzanne. So yeah, so if you haven't gotten a card from me, go ahead and um, send me an email. Um, and I'll, if I don't get you this time, I'll get you next time. How's that? Um, so yeah, so we'll figure it out. All right. So that's it, everybody. Um, and uh, so, yeah, so I'll do um, Julie in Canada and Suzanne, I'll give you a card as well. And then if you haven't gotten a card from me, send me your address and I'll make sure I put you on the list for next time. Um, and we'll make sure we get a card. <laughs> um, so that's it. I hope you guys had a great time today. Um, I, uh, this was fun. I, I like getting messy. I'm going to play a little bit more, um, but I got to get this submitted for Craft Roulette. Um, and that will be my submission. And these were a lot of fun, right? I mean, I had I had a blast making these cards. I hope you guys had fun too. So um, as a reminder, um, yeah. So next week, we're going to start our Christmas in July. I hope you guys join me for that. I think it'll be a lot of fun. We'll be doing some techniques. As always, keeping in my style, of course. <laughs> it'll be a little grungy, but we'll have some fun. So, yeah, so I appreciate you guys hanging out with me, and uh, I'll see you next week. All right. Bye, y'all.